morning. <laughs> I'm just starting off the vlog really quick. I haven't even like done anything. It's like 20 minutes till eight. I need to go to work at like eight. <laughs> so I literally got like 20 minutes to get ready. This is why I have short hair. This is why I don't wear makeup. <clears throat> This is why I'm as low maintenance as possible because I wait till the last freaking minute to do anything. <laughs> so I was sitting here drinking my coffee, enjoying the outside. It's actually not that big of a deal if I don't get there right at eight because I'm just doing a training course today. But that's besides the point. I want to get there so that I can get it done and come home. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a good day to have a good day. Once I get past this training thing at work, guys, look at that freaking cactus. Like, <laughs> I'm going to try to go back to like the beginning of spring and summer when I brought him out so that I can kind of like get a snapshot and show you guys just how much that freaking thing has grown this year. I have no idea how I'm getting it in the house. <laughs> it's going to end up like right inside the door, but anyway, um, yeah, so I don't know. I need to see if I can get Lacey into the doctor tonight. She's had this stuffy nose sinusy thing for like two weeks now that we can't seem to, to beat. <clears throat> so I'm thinking she might need something a little bit stronger than like the Mucinex and stuff. But even though, if you don't take stuff, how's it gonna help? Sorry. Anyway, so yeah. Um not much going on today. I want to try to work on my sunflower and I want to try to do a little bit more yard work tonight. Um, and I have off tomorrow. So I'm actually pretty stoked about the fact that I get off at like four today and I don't have to be back at work. I mean, I work day shift. I work day shift Thursday and Friday now because they totally messed up my schedule. I had originally asked off for October 11th, 12th, and 13th. And they thought it was September, even though it said October and was underlined on the note. <laughs> they thought I said September and they messed it up and gave me off the 11th, 12th, and 13th of this week. And I didn't need off. And I was like, um, I don't need off this week. <laughs> so they gave me one more day in the deli. So I ended up in the deli for Thursday and Friday, day shift seven to three. But then I ended up picking up today too. So even though I had three days off this week, I'm back down to only having one. So there's that. Um, but I ended up, and in the meantime, I also found out that I can't have off October 11th, 12th and 13th because there are two other managers out and I can't be out too. So they got first dibs. So I'm not gonna be going and getting my tattoo done this month. Um, which as sad as that is for me because I really want to get it done. It's a cover up. It's covering up. I think it's on this shoulder. I don't remember because I don't look at it every day. So I forget which shoulder it's on, but there's a little tattoo on the shoulder that I need to get covered up. It's the last of, it's the last, I don't know how I want to put it. Like it's the last thing from my past that I need to resolve. And to me, to resolve that is to get rid of it. <laughs> and I don't need to get rid of the tattoo. I just need to cover it up with something that's more like today. Like the one on my leg I did like eight years ago, I upgraded it and changed it. And then the one on my arm is, you know, me today. You know, this is, it reflects me and who I am and, you know, who Greg was. And it's like a whole combination of just, and it's not, that one's not really even necessarily done. I really would like to add maybe a couple of more butterflies just to kind of pretty it up a little bit more. I mean, I like it the way, way it is, don't get me wrong, but I'm thinking another butterfly or two just to kind of surround the words and my heart smile. So to tie that one up and then the one on my back to just get rid of that. So, but the tattoo artist that we were going to go see in Pennsylvania is from here, so I can always really just go up the street. I can walk there and have him do that. So when I get to money, I don't have the money anyway. So, I mean, after working the budget and stuff, there's a lot of things that I just can't do right now. And that's 
one of them, you know, because tattoos aren't cheap. You know, that's one of the reasons why I was actually really upset because I chipped one of my nails yesterday. And I'm like, man, well, I wasn't like really upset, but I was like, man, I was like, I didn't, I wanted to wait until at least, I wanted to get through at least two weeks with them before I had to start removing them because I'm taking them off. I'm not going back and getting them done again because it's like $40 every two weeks and that's a lot of money when you don't have any. <laughs> so, there's that. And I'm just gonna take them off and I'm gonna just work hard to try to grow my own, my own nails and do them myself. You know, so instead of spending all that money on that. So there's that, there's a birdie in my bird feeder. I don't know, I'm going into a chat video and I can't cause I gotta go get ready for work. So I will talk to you guys later. Love you. What? Sorry, Twitter notification. I don't know. Um, I just wanted to hop on here really quick cause yesterday I <coughs> had told you that I was having issues with my door locks. <laughs> uh, funny story. This thing, the button for the lock was stuck in. Like it was pressed in and stuck. So every time I got in and out of the car, the car would lock on its own because the button was. Yeah. <laughs> Day in the life of Trisha. <laughs> I'm like, really? Yeah, so that's why my doors were locking on their own yesterday. It was kind of odd. Like, I was like, what the heck is going on? Like, why are my doors locking on their own? And yeah, it's because the button was stuck on my keychain. I realized it at work because I'm looking at the keychain. I'm like, what is, why? Why is this not working? And then I realized the button was kind of pressed in and kind of stuck. And I fixed it and all is well again. So, yeah, so now... So I got off the last video with you literally 10 minutes ago and now I'm ready for work. <laughs> what are you going to do, right? Like that's how quick I can get ready. It's literally a matter of wetting my hair, throwing a bunch of gel in it and making it stand up straight and putting my face eye stuff on. That was it. Well, deodorant, brush my teeth, and some body spray. But really, not much. Oh, I made another cup of coffee, too, while I was doing all that. And petted Chaz. So, of course, I didn't make my bed or anything like that this morning, and my room's a mess, but I'll clean that later. It'll be okay. Her hibiscus is growing too. My friend Ashley lives there, the one I was telling you that's an artist. So she literally lives right down the street from me. <clears throat> and she's awesome. I'll have to start linking some of her stuff. Like she does, she's been raising money for the church and for the skate park at the church. Her boyfriend skateboards, her daughter, Fallon. Oh my God, I love this little girl. She's freaking awesome. And I remember when I met this little girl five years ago, she was like, she literally looked like she was no older than two. And she was like five or six at the time. No, she was four or five. So, and the first time I met this little girl was when her mother <laughs> took her and threw her in the pool. <laughs> I almost had a heart attack. She literally looked like she was two. And this little girl swam from one end of the pool to the other. It was like a little fish. It was crazy. Sorry, stories, they reminiscing. I, and it's funny because she sent me a photo two days ago of her of, of uh, her daughter and one of the other little girls on the first day of school, like, I don't know how many years ago, a couple years ago. And in the background at the picnic table behind them sits Lacey and Greg. Greg in his bright orange shirt. <laughs> and I just, that was pretty neat to see. So that was something. But anyway, I'm going on and on about chatting again because I just like talking to you guys. Like, I just freaking like it. So you can ride with me to work. It's not like I got far to go. <clears throat> and at this t time of year, traffic's awesome. <clears throat> People, everybody went home. It's my time of year. You know what I really need to do? I have not been out to the Cape 
in a hot minute. I need to go to the Cape. I would really like to take my bike out to the Cape. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Ooh. I like that car in front of me to pencil it's got Pennsylvania tags but on the back of it says got sea glass <laughs> yes yes I do have sea glass I love sea glass one of my places to visit on my bucket list is sea glass beach California I will figure out how to get to it it's on my bucket list there's lots of things on my bucket list I almost, almost got to knock one off this weekend, but I can't because I can't afford it. <laughs> my, uh, one of my friends at work asked me if I wanted to go up in a hot air balloon. It's on my bucket list to go in a hot air balloon, but she only gave me like a week notice and one, I couldn't get off work and two, I didn't have $250 to do it. So. It'll happen again. There's a fest there's festivals all the time. There's places all, all around the place you can go to get in a hot air balloon. So these are just the kinds of things I need to save my money up for. I also want to go up in an airplane. No, not an airplane, a helicopter. I want to fly again, obviously, but I want to go in a helicopter too. Like a helicopter tour. It's up somewhere really cool. Preferably, I would like to do a helicopter tour of Grand Canyon. That would be awesome. Yeah, like there's so many things I want to do. The only thing is, is I just, I don't want to do any of it alone. I'll be honest. I'm not going to go do it all by myself. I mean, there are some things I would, but I just feel like that kind of stuff's meant to be shared with other people, whether it's your friends or, and, and some of that, like some things I could take Lacey, but she's not an outdoorsy girl as far as an aesthetic viewpoint of it. Like now, if you take her to the beach and she can go swimming in the ocean, she's game. You know, if you take her to an amusement park, she's game. If you take, but to walk trails and to just go look at nature and be the beauty of it all, no. She doesn't, she doesn't have that aesthetic part of her to her. So, I mean, she's more into like the, the drama and the, like the TikToks and the musics and that kind of, I mean, I, that stuff's cool too, but I mean, I like music because again, I look at the aesthetic point of music. I don't just look at music as music or who the best new artist is because half the time I can't even tell you. Half the time, I think I heard a song the other day that I'd heard before and had no idea who sang it. And I was like, wow, so this is who sings it. And then I went and listened to the rest of their stuff and I was like, wow, I actually really like this person. <laughs> it just is. Wow, I don't think you guys can see me at all. Sun. So yeah, it's 8.02, I'm like what, three minutes late. But anyway, I'm just doing this training thing anyway, so I'm not fretting over it. <sighs> but it's going to be a long day, a very, no, you know, I'm gonna go into this like, you know, this might be actually kind of cool to learn something new. I like learning new things. Right? Yeah, but I just, I like, would rather, I don't know. We're going to see how this goes, but, oh, look, there's Tom, boss man. All right, guys, wish me luck. I'll see you later. Um, yeah, like, I didn't have to take the training class today. So... Yeah, super stoked about that. So I got to come home early. I got home about 11, a little after 11. So, no, it's like almost 12. And I just took about a half hour nap, I guess, if that. But I'm up and I want to go work on the sunflower. So I'm gonna go outside and play. I still feel kind of tired, but maybe I'll drink an energy drink. Sounds like a good idea. So, 
I came out here with the intention of working on my sunflower. But then I remembered I never finished the yard yesterday because my batteries died. So I'm like, I should probably go do that. So I got the lawnmower out, otherwise, AKA my Hoover, <laughs> and I finished the yard. And then I'm looking at the ginormous sunflower. I really should have filmed all this because it was quite entertaining and super fun. And I'm like, okay, I got to get this ginormous sunflower down. What am I going to do? So I got the handsaw out. Yeah, that lasted a whole of uh, 30 seconds before I'm like, this is not happening. There's no way that I am going to get this rusted old saw through that ginormous stalk of a sunflower. So I was like, wait a second. If I remember correctly, when I cleaned out that shed, I found power tools I didn't know I had. And there happened to be a limb, I guess it's like a tree limb saw. Like a tree limb chainsaw. Yeah, I guess that's what you would call it. It's on a very long handle and it's just got a small like limb size blade on the end. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know what? Why not? I took that, I took that uh, sunflower stock down. I did. And then I'm like, okay, well, I started here. I might as well rip out all these <laughs> weeds and everything while I'm at it. So I've been pretty much ripping up the whole garden out front, trying to get all the, the, the to, uh, to weeds and stuff. Sorry, I can't talk. Weeds and stuff out. And I am currently completely covered in dirt. And like, I don't know if you can see all that, but covered in dirt and so soaked in sweat. And yet I feel pretty fantastic right now. I feel quite accomplished. I mean, I'm not done. I'm still taking down the sunflowers on the other side and ripping out some more weeds. I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. So I don't know if you remember what it looked like before, but if you go back and watch some of my other vlogs, you can see it. <laughs> um, just watch them all and eventually you'll come across some. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, I'm drinking an energy drink too. That's probably helping. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm super stoked because I basically got home at noon and I have this beautiful day and I'm doing yard work and I could paint my sunflower and I feel fantastic. And I'm off tomorrow. So if I really want to, I can sit out here and chill tonight and maybe drink a beer or two maybe drink a bottle of water or two. I don't have any beer. I might, I might have to go get some because I'm feeling like a nice cold beer on my deck with some candlelight after a very productive day. Sounds pretty amazing. I'm choking myself. So yeah. Oh, oh, that feels better. These ear these earphones, they hurt my ears because they go up in the top part of your ear. But because of the surgery I had when years ago, when I was like 23, um, I don't have, like if you look here, there's this piece, I don't know if I can, if I'm showing you right, there's this piece of cartilage here. Well, if you look over here, it's really not there. So, what they did was, is they had taken this piece of cartilage out and took it and put it behind my eardrum because I had a lot of ear problems. So for those of you who don't know, I actually have hearing issues. There's a new one for you. Um, I've adapted very well over the years. Like there are a lot of people that'll come and tell me, you're yelling, why are you yelling? Well, that's because I don't hear properly. I haven't, I've only got about 20% hearing in the one ear. So in this one in particular. I had hearing problems all through my teenage years, up into my adulthood. Um, my, Like I said, my last surgery, I was about 23. And that was because what had happened, I had issues with, with draining and I'd get ear infections a lot. So they would put tubes in and put tubes in and put tubes in. Well, they only work for so long and then the tubes fall out. And I've had a couple of times where the tubes would get lodged and get infected. And there's nothing like having an infection like that in your ear where your ears bleed. I don't even want to go into it. 
And then, so finally they kept going and kept going and realized that with this ear, my eardrum, instead of being like this, was the opposite and was pushed up against the bone back here. So in order to salvage what was left, they took this out. They literally cut the back of my ear, pulled it forward, took this piece of cartilage, went down and stuck it behind my eardrum. And I guess I was about 23. I still get issues with my ears every now and then, but it's not like it was when I was younger, so that's good. But I do have some hearing difficulties. So if I ask you to repeat yourself or it seems like I'm yelling, that's why. Fun fact. Um, I also had my adenoids and tonsils taken out when I was 22. That was terrible. I'm just throwing that out there. So if you have kids and they suggest maybe it's a possible good idea to take tonsils out, do it while they're young. They heal quicker, they heal easier, and it's not near as traumatic. In your 20s, it sucks. I'm just, just saying. So yeah, a couple of fun facts about me. I don't know how I even got into that. Oh, I was talking about the earphones. <laughs> that tells you how my brain works. I go off on a tangent. Oh my God, my feet are like black. I guess I could have put sneakers on, but where's the fun in that? So yeah, I'm having a really good day. I didn't have to do the training course that I thought I was gonna have to do today. I'm ecstatic about that because from what I'm understanding, it's an eight hour long college level pharmaceutical course in eight hours on the computer. And I have absolutely no interest in becoming a pharmacist. So the fact that I have to do this is not sounding like a good time to me. So I did get my HIPAA certification today though. So I have a little certificate for that. So I'm HIPAA certified or something. Lacey's still at school. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a good day to have a great day. I hope everybody out there is having a good day. I have taken a long enough break. I need to get back to these weeds because now I got to get it done. I told you, like I can't start a project and not finish it. And I can't leave this half done. Like it bothered me that I had to leave the lawn half done. But that's only because I had no choice. My batteries were dead. So I'm going to finish my energy drink and I'm going to get back at it. And there's a cat. That doesn't belong to me because it's orange. I don't know. I'll see you guys in a little while. Hi. <laughs> that was the same time. <laughs> Lacey's taking me to dinner. So we're going to the Chinese. I texted her while I was walking the dog. I said, let's go to dinner. Well, okay then. Well, she's paying. I'm not going to deny that. No, I don't got to cook. Um, so we're going to dinner. That's what we're doing. And to then probably go to the Dollar Tree because I'm out this way. I didn't do my hair because I took a shower and I don't feel like having, if I don't have to take another shower later. Maybe I might need to though. Maybe if they're open. We'll see. Take in. We're going to donate we'll gear. We could just take the whole bag in. And he could just get I rid of the bag. I don't think care. Huh? I don't think he'll care. It's Master Tom. But I don't think. I mean, he could take the equipment out and get rid of the bag. Or he could take the patches. we're donating equipment to the, them. And they use, they can use new equipment. So. And that stuff's what? It's like brand new, isn't it? No, I don't know. She got it at a yard sale. Anywho. I'm going to go eat some food. So let's go eat some food. Where'd you get your shirt? Uh, old Navy. Oh. It's one of my old Navy shirts. 